I was gonna say, guys, don't say anything. <laughs> right, I'm gonna start over. Hello, welcome to Jamie's YouTube channel. The um, so what you're gonna do is uh, shake it up for 30 minutes. There's a little ball in there. You want to shake up all the paint so it's even when you disperse it within the can. After you do that, don't spray too close. It, it will um, drip. Don't spray too far away. Nothing will land. About right here. And what I'm doing is I'm just going back and forth, little by little. I'm not trying to cover it and coat it the first round. I'll just rotate it again. And I don't have a lot of these Lazy Susans, just this one, and I'm using this right now for the demo. You might have to actually walk around the table and paint. And notice I'm just going like up, down. So if, if this was like a professional car, automotive body shop, you know, they would have a huge sprayer to go whoosh, stop, whoosh, stop, right? And I'm trying to replicate that with this really cheap six dollar can of spray paint. And once in a while, the paint will drift and build up here. And by turning upside down and spraying up upside down, it clears out the nozzle. And if your finger is over it too much, it will start to drip and splatter on your piece and that's a pain in the butt because then you got to sand those off so make sure your finger is a little bit back and again you're not coating this to making this uh fully painted yet you're just kind of i'm kind of working faster now i'm going against what, what it says but this is the first coat you're going to probably paint it um sorry guys <laughs> You're gonna paint about three times. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint it after it, you paint it like you see now, you can see all the little subtleties that you might have to sand off a lot better because you, you don't have the variations of tone of the plaster and all that stuff. Um, now you can start to see it. You can see it's already drying quickly. Oh, did I go too close there? No. You can see that where you put filler in, the, the reflection of the paint is a little, um, the varnish, or what's it called? It's a little bit brighter. Uh, there's it's a shiny. word for it. It's shiny. shiny. Matte, uh, flat, gloss. It's glossier. That's the word I was shiny. looking for. Shiny. So I don't want to use too much of this because you still want to conserve some paint for your last two um, paint jobs. So that's probably enough for now. And then you can just let this dry outside. Put it, put it maybe 30 minutes on your cell phone timer and then come out and then you can probably just like touch it and just see if it's dry enough to feel it. And when you paint it or when you sand it for the last time, unless you have 2000 sandpaper grit, which someone here has, um, you're just gonna use the 400 grit. Don't go back to the 150, don't go back to the 220. It's just gonna rough it up too much and then you gotta sand it out with 400 again. If you're just lightly sanding this out, unless there's areas like right here, you can see that little bump, right? I don't know if you can see it from that side, there's a little bump here. You might have to sand that out. We can probably sand that out with a 400 grit. If not, then it gets a 220 and see if you can do it and then go back to the 400 and smooth it out. So it's gonna take a couple coats. That's why we do this. Uh, you, you paint it three times or so because the paint actually acts as a filler too in some of those little subtle, not for the big holes, but um, in the small, small parts. Good? Awesome, thank you.